Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today for our FinTech information session. Before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Angela Jenkins, and I'm the Curriculum Analyst for USGE Campus. Also with us today is Dr. Kevin Floyd from Middle Georgia State University School of Information Technology. A couple of quick housekeeping things. Um, you'll notice there is a Q&A feature on your screen. If you can hear me okay, we would appreciate it if you could just drop a comment there and let us know and we can work with anyone who is having trouble uh, to make sure that everyone can hear the session. Also, you can submit questions at any time during the presentation, and we'll make sure to cover those at the end. How many of these apps or similar apps do you use on a weekly basis? We live in a very fast-paced, technology-driven society, and the way we make payments has changed tremendously in the past few years. I know personally I use several of these apps at least a few times a week, and as consumers, we have the convenience of shopping, paying bills, uh, depositing checks, uh, managing our bank accounts, and even making purchases like ordering coffee directly from our phones. Many of us are guilty of using these apps on a regular basis without giving much thought to the behind the scenes pieces that make all of this possible. The technologies that support these apps, as well as any online payment processing or financial management system, is part of a growing technology known as FinTech or financial technology. The fintech sector encompasses all aspects of technology related to finances, ultimately supporting the entire payment processing infrastructure of the economy. The rapid growth of the financial technology sector may not surprise you based on how we manage money in today's economy. However, what may surprise you is where these companies are located. They're right here in Georgia. Actually, more than 70% of all U.S. payments processed run through Georgia, generating an annual revenue of more than $72 billion. That places Georgia third in the nation behind New York and California. Some of the largest fintech companies in the world are headquartered in Atlanta. First Data, Total Systems, and BitPay, just to name a few. FinTech is one of the five key industry segments identified by the Atlanta Metro Chamber of Commerce, touting an entire ecosystem of FinTech players and strategically attracting even more businesses to the state. There is only one problem. These companies are having a hard time recruiting and retaining qualified employees that have the skills they need. The FinTech Atlanta Task Force has estimated a need for 10,000 new employees over the next three years. Here are a few examples of the types of openings that are posted right now for FinTech positions in Georgia. As you can see, the earning potential is very high, with average salaries for software engineers topping $100,000 annually. Because of the high demand for qualified employees, the University System of Georgia has partnered with FinTech Atlanta to develop two program options through Middle Georgia State University to help prepare future employees to fill these positions. The Associate of Science and Financial Technology is a 60 credit hour program designed to provide students with the skills needed for employment in the financial technology field. It also makes a great stepping stone toward completion of a bachelor's degree. The certificate option is a quick five-course program that's an ideal choice for those who already hold a four-year degree but would like to add a specialization to their resume. It can also be learned, earned excuse me, alongside the associate's degree or as a standalone certificate. The FinTech curriculum was developed with direct input from FinTech talent managers so that we are equipping students with the skills that employers are looking for in these positions.
Both of the programs are offered through the University System of Georgia's E-Major program, which specializes in online education and offers several additional benefits to students. Courses with E-Major are taught entirely online, providing flexibility for students who may have work or family obligations during traditional on-campus time. This means you have the flexibility to log in and out as needed as long as you're following the course schedule. You can um, sneak in classwork before work in the morning or on your lunch break or if you have young children in the house even at night after they've gone to bed. E-Major also offers student support services that are tailored to meet the needs of out-of-distance students from the start of the program to the finish. Um, these services include online tutoring and um, personalized success coaching. One major benefit to E-Major programs is the affordable tuition rate of only $199 per credit hour. It's a very competitive tuition rate. So how do you get started with the FinTech program? Well, before you can register for E-Major FinTech courses, you must be fully admitted to Middle Georgia State University. That means if you're not a current Middle Georgia student, you'll need to submit an application for admission as well as all required documents and meet the admission standards designated by your student type. Also, there's a brief introduction quiz that's taken through the E-Major website. Students are required to complete the introduction quiz before you can enroll in your first semester of E-Major classes. But after you've been accepted and have completed the intro quiz, your next step will be to consult with your program advisor and register for classes. This will be um, very much like the normal registration process for Middle Georgia students. Um, advisors will provide phone or email advising options for those students who are at a distance E-Major students. So no trips to campus will be required for you. So when can you start? Well, the summer classes start May 30th, and it's not too late to apply for that. There are two FinTech courses on the summer schedule, and also there is a vast selection of e-core courses available for students who need to complete core curriculum requirements for the associate's degree. And if that feels a little bit rushed for you, you can go ahead and apply for the fall semester while we still have some time to work on that. I'd be happy to help you get all of your paperwork in in time for the fall semester. So if you want to get started um, with the next steps towards enrollment, um, I hope that you'll contact me by phone or email. I'm available to help guide you through the entire enrollment process. You don't have to feel like you're doing that alone. Also, Dr. Floyd from the School of Information Technology at Middle Georgia is available for program-specific questions or course-specific questions that you might have. We'll just leave that up a second longer so you can jot down those email addresses. Okay, if you have any questions, um, please submit those under the Q&A tab, and we'll give you guys just a few minutes for that. Angela, we have a question from an attendee um, that's asking if students can use financial aid for the associate's degree. Okay, a question about financial aid for the associate's degree. The associate's degree is eligible for financial aid. Obviously, that depends on the student's individual eligibility as well, since financial aid requirements are so specific to each student's need. Um, but we would encourage students applying for the associate's degree to complete a FAFSA and make sure that you include Middle Georgia's school code on that FAFSA so that we can um, determine your financial aid eligibility and move forward with that. Okay. 
Okay, I believe that's all the questions for today. But if you have any follow-up questions, you can email me at ajenkins at westga.edu or Dr. Floyd with your program questions at kevin.floyd at mga.edu. We thank you so much for your participation today, and we are going to follow up with emailing a recording of the presentation once it is finalized, so you'll get that as well. Thank you.